Beach. 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 Landing on Bluebird Beach. Migrants are waiting out at Hook in the Hot Springs. Some of the migrants have been dropped off here in San Diego. San Diego sector of the border. We're out at the uh, Valley of Moons in uh, Hakumba Springs, about 60 miles east of San Diego. Every time we've been out here, there's been a group just waiting. Eventually, there will be some, a uh, couple more vans coming in that will transport them out from here, back closer into San Diego to flights or buses to other places in the nation. Hi, I'm Kate Monroe. I'm CEO of VETCOM. I'm also the ringleader, if you will, of the Border Vets. Border Vets is a group of veterans that has taken the initiative of going to actually secure portions of the open border. We figure our partners, you know, that do other things like Border Patrol, Fire, Police, they're not really allowed to do um, the full weight of their job. So we want to go down and help get those things done. We had enough of looking at the problem. We decided to go actually do something about it. You can see we're at the end of the border wall where it apparently we just ran out of steam here. This is where they all cross. So we met some earlier today. A couple of groups have already come through. Every year, uh, life in Turkey is very difficult. Every year, more, more difficult. Economy, uh, very bad. Uh, and we don't like Recep Tayyip Erdogan. Yes. He, he is a dictator. He is a dictator. Yes. I hate him. <laughs> I hate him. USA don't let us, uh, don't let, uh, don't give us visa. And we come here illegally. If, if you pay Mexican people, Mexican cartel money, yeah. dollar, they uh, do uh, they, they bring let, you here. Let come here. I pay uh, six thousand and five hundred dollars for Mexico, and I come here. <laughs> One or two day, uh, I stay migration. After I will fly. I, I want to live uh, in Los Angeles. I I live Santa Monica, and I make I do. Uh, DoorDash. If I do DoorDash, I can uh, I can earn uh, six thousand dollars. If uh, U.S. government lets me uh, work, I can work. People should be scared. When we pull up to them, they're not scared. They're not scared of the, the border patrol. They're not scared of anybody who would come at them because they've already been told by the other million people that came here. You're safe to cross. None of those people can do anything to you. Because they just drop them off. They come right here though, you see? Nobody was trekking days and days and days to get here. They were literally concierge, just dropped them off right here and they walked right to the end of the wall. And immigration's gonna pick them up and take them to the transit center and then they're gonna go apparently to Santa Monica to drive for DoorDash. Good thing the cartel only costs $6,500, right? makes it very inexpensive to get into America. Some people are gonna to go to New York, some people are going to New Orleans, but this is just, this is where we run out of steam, America. This is why you have all these people coming across, not only a lack of a wall, but a lack of any repercussion whatsoever. When you talk about there being an opening in the wall, you actually think that the wall is fully built and there's like a hole in it somehow. But in reality, the wall just sort of runs out finding tons and tons of passports from Pakistan, Ethiopia, Ecuador, China, just crudely tossed on the other side so that they could claim asylum. The fact that it is so coordinated and it's so easy for them, it's not this arduous trek they make across Mexico through, you know, up and down valleys and rivers and everything. It's very much just through the cartels. They're driven to quote unquote, the illegal point of entry. They come with their roller bags. If they're going through TSA, they meet Border Patrol at designated camps, uh, gaps in the wall, and they're processed to move on from there, but it's a very easy process for the right amount of money.